Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms, and I did a video a couple weeks ago with the Star Knight MT seat covers that they sent us to try out. And they sent us two of them. They sent us these uh, camouflage ones I've got right here. And then they sent me these gray ones as well. And I put the gray ones on uh, just kind of, kind of personally. I like with the red or with orange, well, actually with the red. I like kind of the black or gray. I guess these are black, not gray. They're, but anyway, uh, so I tried, I put these on, we've been riding around, we had uh, about 50 people up over the weekend and did a lot of side-by-side -side riding and, uh, you know, figured we'd see how they hold up and, uh, I mean, they're holding up good now that it, they've been on a little bit and it's hot here, they've kind of formed to the seat, a lot of the wrinkles are gone, uh, they're comfortable, they're waterproof, uh, really really do like them but uh, uh, I sent the original video to the company and they said would you uh, please do one with the camouflage seat covers too we sent both of them to you and and fair enough uh, we're gonna swap them out today and uh, and just see I'm, I'm assuming they fit on the same way it's just a color difference but who knows they they might be a little different and once I get them on Maybe I'll change my mind as far as, uh, you know, camouflage on the red. I like the camouflage if you've got orange or if you've got, like, the green ones. And we've got a green one of these we're actually looking at right now that we're thinking about picking up. So uh, I was saving them for those, but we're going to see what they look like on here. So first got to take off the old ones. Well, not the old ones, but the other ones. And going to be kind of careful with them because... Uh, you know, definitely want to keep them good, but they should come right off pretty easy. So we're going to pop these off and then we're going to start putting the uh, camo ones on and see what happens. So I've got the seat covers off and they came off pretty easy. But, uh, you know, one of, the, one of the things with seat covers, and I didn't do this when we first got this. We bought this new in 2005. It's uh, 2023 now so you know you do the math of uh, the age on on this but uh you know it started to tear a little bit should have put seat covers on when we first got it to help protect it but we get cracks here a couple i tried to fix the kind of held up held up a little bit but you know as you can see on this it don't take long to uh to get splits if you're gonna keep it for a long period of time, and this one, I mean, we've had this, you know, this long, I'm sure we'll have it another 20 years or longer because this thing has really been the beast and uh, a, a help as far as uh, working on the farm. So, uh, you know, you get a new one, definitely consider uh, picking up some seat covers. They're, they're pretty cheap and uh, make the seats last longer. We've got them on this. I've got the uh, BMS stallion over here which uh it uses the same stuff as uh same seat covers and all as the yamaha rhino does and uh i think that's going to be next on the list that and the argo as far as getting some seat covers to protect them because you know they're still looking good but it's just a matter of time so uh, just keep them so it's you know less things i got to replace over time so we're going to get uh, the camo seat covers on and see how they go. Basically, uh, putting them on, just going to pop this up. Fits right over. The bottom one's super easy to do. It'll fit right over. And there's a little uh, Velcro strap that goes right down the middle that uh, you clamp on. And, uh, I mean, one person can do it by themselves. Back seat, same thing. Uh, one person can do it. There's two straps. The only problem is if you've got an older one of these, and I talked about it in the other video, there's this little plastic piece here that uh, the straps have to go down. And over time, as old as this is, it's kind of warped a little bit, and it was hard to kind of feed them through. But I got a long flathead screwdriver and just kind of used it to push them down. And when I did that, it, uh, it worked pretty easy. It wasn't... Uh, as quick as I would have liked, but it wasn't really that bad. So we're gonna get started on the on the bottom one first. 
All right, so we got the bottom part on, and uh, this one wasn't as easy to put on as the uh, black one that I had. It was a lot tighter, but hopefully that just means it's going to fit a little better. And I did, I don't think it matters which side is front and which side is back on these, because it should be like a kind of a perfect rectangle, oval kind of shape. But when I flipped them around, it did kind of make a difference. And like I said, in the back, you got this Velcro strip. Velcro strap that's going to hold it in and hold it on there tight. Put it down. And, uh, I mean, I really had to manhandle this to get it on there. But, uh, you know, it's got a good tight fit. You just want to be careful because you don't want to end up ripping it because it is fabric. I mean, it's tough fabric, but you put enough pressure, anything's going to rip. Uh, but anyway, we got the, uh, got the bottom one on. Now we're going to start working on the top. All right, I'm going to see how well my little tripod will hold this camera while I'm trying to do it. But what I was talking about with these straps, so you got to get them in there. And uh, the easiest way to do them that I found when I was doing the other one is uh, just taking a screwdriver and pushing them down in there. And it's a pain, and it's not... It's not just this uh, seat here. Any of them are gonna do this because it's just the uh, just the design on the mule. Now I could take the uh, grating and everything off at the back and it would fit through pretty easy, but I don't wanna do that because that's a lot of extra work that's not necessary. So I've kinda got this one in there. Still can't, still doesn't come back out. I'm actually going to have to take it off and do it here. There we go. So I got this one. And I'm going to go over and I'm going to feed the other one through as well. There's a little area that's kind of gapped out, and that's where I'm feeding them through. And once I've got them, like, on the other side and stabilized, then I'm going to take them over the sides and get them on good. All right, so I finally got this back one on. It was a little bit of a challenge, but it was mostly, like I said, it's part of the mule itself, not the seat cover. Uh, I've got the two straps on. There is this. It's going to go around, and it's got to be fed through, and then it, like, kind of Velcros in there. And uh, just the way the, my mule is, is I, I'm having a hard time getting it. I'm going to have to get, like, a different tool to push it back in. But uh, this was super tight getting on. You really had to manhandle it. I found the easiest way is the straps, the Velcro straps, feed them through, and then when you go to stretch it out, hook them really loosely in the back so they don't work their way back. And, uh, you know, once you get it in there, you just kind of manhandle it, get it over. You can see there's still kind of uh, some shaping I'm going to have to do. There's a little bit of some wrinkles here. Uh, that's probably just going to come with, with time having it on here. The uh, other little trick that I used, and I use these with Jeep tops all the time, is it's about 110 heat index out here. It's sunny, it's super hot. Uh, when I'm working with Jeep tops and I wanna get them, especially on days that it's cooler with them, is I'll set them on the hood of the Jeep in the sun and they kinda become a little more elastic or stretchable. And I did that with the, the top one of these, the top part of the seat. And it worked better as far as getting it on there and stretching it. So, you know, that's a little trick you might try if it's cooler when you're putting one on. You know, you got your car, your truck, whatever, uh, and you've been running it where the engine's kind of warm. Set it upside down on there and let it kind of heat the material up uh, or kind of warm it up a little bit. And it makes it a little, little easier to handle to get on there. But uh, we got it on there. Camel pattern. Don't look bad on the on the red. I, I will say that. I will say that. I personally I'm a little partial to the black, but the uh, camo does not look bad at all. It's waterproof, it's comfortable, and it's gonna protect the seat of the mule. So, you know, win-win situation uh, either way. I wish I would have put one of these on when we first got the mule. Next up, uh, hopefully we're gonna get one for this. And we're going to put some seat covers on that as well. So that's where we're at right now. It's Matt with McGee Farms. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, helped you out, maybe uh, 
you know, if you got one of these machines or other machines, you know, think a little bit so you protect your seats where I, uh, where I didn't. And uh, again, this is from Star Knight MT, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a link to this, their website, and an Amazon link in the comments section. They sent me these, but I'm not getting paid to promote them. So basically, if I went to put them on, and they were junk, you know, I'd say I'd say they were junk. Uh, actually, I probably wouldn't say they were junk. I probably would just send them back to the company and be like, "Look, these things." Just uh, just don't work out. Uh, you know, I'm not not going to badmouth somebody unless, you know, something is just really horrible. But that would be if they wore bad. This is not bad. This was uh, is pretty well made. It was easy to put on. And, uh, I mean, I'm happy. I was happy with the black one. Happy with this one. I'm going to drive around on it a little bit and see. So I'm definitely, you know... Definitely saying good things about, about their products so far, and I've looked on their website. They've got a couple other neat things as well, so we're going to try some other stuff. Hopefully, maybe uh, they'll send me some more. If not, I'll just have to, uh, you know, buy them on my own dime. But we'll make a couple reviews on this. Uh, let a month or two go by. We use this machine pretty heavy, so as we're using it heavy and uh, this gets a little abuse on it, we'll see how they hold up as well. But again, it's Matt with McGee Farms. If you like the video, please consider giving us a thumbs up, maybe subscribing to the channel, share it, tell your friends, tell your family, your coworkers, uh, your, your dog, uh, whoever, but all that, uh, or subscribe to the channel because it all helps the channel grow and it's very much appreciated. Till next time, have a great day.